Cambridge English Flyers 2, published by Cambridge University Press and Cambridge English Language Assessment 2018. This recording is copyright. CD2 Test 3 Hello. This is the Cambridge English Flyers Listening Test. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Do you know these people in the cafe? Yes, I do. They're having breakfast. Yes, they are. The food looks good. Who's that girl with long black hair? Which one? The girl who's cutting some cheese? Yes. Oh, that's Betty. She's a friend of mine. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. There are some other girls in the cafe. Yes. Can you see the girl who's carrying something? Yes. What's she got? Are they strawberries? That's right. That's Emma. She loves fruit. Do you know that boy, the one with the cookies? The boy with the short blonde hair? No, not him, the other boy. Oh, that's George. He's in my class at school. There are two boys who are sitting at a table. Yes, they're eating too. What have they got? Can you see? It's yoghurt, I think. Oh, yes. That boy's called David. The one with the spoon in his hand? No, the one with the striped T-shirt. He's my best friend. Do you know that girl? Do you mean the one with long brown hair? Yes, I do. What's her name? That's Sophia. She's my sister. Oh, is she? She's holding some olives. What's she going to do with them? I don't know. Perhaps she'll eat them. There's a boy who's got some hot drinks. Yes, he's taking them to the table. Well, that's Oliver. He's my brother. He's older than me. Well, it's a great cafe, isn't it? Shall we go in and have a drink? Now listen to part one again. There are some other girls in the cafe. Yes. Can you see the girl who's carrying something? Yes. What's she got? Are they strawberries? That's right. That's Emma. She loves fruit. Do you know that boy? The one with the cookies? The boy with the short blonde hair? No, not him. The other boy. Oh, that's George. He's in my class at school. There are two boys who are sitting at a table. Yes, they're eating too. What have they got? Can you see? It's yoghurt, I think. Oh, yes. That boy's called David. The one with the spoon in his hand? No, the one with the striped T-shirt. He's my best friend. Do you know that girl? Do you mean the one with long brown hair? Yes, I do. What's her name? That's Sophia. She's my sister. Oh, is she? She's holding some olives. What's she going to do with them? I don't know. Perhaps she'll eat them. There's a boy who's got some hot drinks. Yes, he's taking them to the table. Well, that's Oliver. He's my brother. He's older than me. Well, it's a great cafe, isn't it? Shall we go in and have a drink? 
That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. How was your first day at school? Great, Dad. But there are some things I need to get. Okay, let's write them down. I need some sunglasses. You don't usually have classes outside. We're going to go for a walk to look at birds tomorrow. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Do you need anything for your sports lessons? Well, I need sports shoes. That's all. Okay, you can wear your white ones. Oh, okay. And I need to find a picture for my art class. What kind of picture? I need to get one of a penguin. Some other children have to find pictures of insects. I'm sure we can find something. What else do you need? I need to get a new file. Okay, that's easy. Is it for your English work? No, it's for my science projects. I need to keep them safe. No problem. Cool. Also, we're going to go on a trip next Thursday. We're going to camp that night. That sounds amazing. Do you need anything for that? Yes, I do. I need some shampoo. Can we buy my favorite? It's called Blue Ocean. Okay. We can go to the store later. Thanks, Dad. There's one more thing. We're going to have a special pets day. We can take our pets to school and talk about them. So, are you going to take the kitten? I'd like to take our rabbit. Okay, if you want. But you must be careful with it. I will. Thanks, Dad. Now listen to part two again. Do you need anything for your sports lessons? Well, I need sports shoes. That's all. Okay. You can wear your white ones. Oh, okay. And I need to find a picture for my art class. What kind of picture? I need to get one of a penguin. Some other children have to find pictures of insects. I'm sure we can find something. What else do you need? I need to get a new file. Okay, that's easy. Is it for your English work? No, it's for my science projects. I need to keep them safe. No problem. Cool. Also, we're going to go on a trip next Thursday. We're going to camp that night. That sounds amazing. Do you need anything for that? Yes, I do. I need some shampoo. Can we buy my favorite? It's called Blue Ocean. Okay. We can go to the store later. Thanks, Dad. There's one more thing. We're going to have a special pets day. We can take our pets to school and talk about them. So, are you going to take the kitten? I'd like to take our rabbit. Okay, if you want. But you must be careful with it. I will. Thanks, Dad. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Richard's friends have different hobbies. Which hobby does each friend have? You know a lot of interesting people, don't you, Richard? Yes. My friends all have amazing hobbies. Do you know Harry? Yes, I do. I met him at the theatre. He loves being on stage. Mm, yes, he's very good at acting. Can you see the letter B? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Who's your friend that goes to the gym a lot? That's Michael. He goes there every day after work. That's boring, isn't it? Well, he doesn't think it is. What about your friend Sarah? She likes being outside, doesn't she? Yes. She loves going up mountains and then...
coming down them as fast as she can. Oh, so does she like cycling then? Snowboarding. I believe she's very good at it. She's very brave. I'm not. You have a friend who's called Katie, don't you? That's right. She loves collecting things. Oh, what kind of things? I've seen her buying comics. Is that what she collects? No, stamps. She's got lots now from different countries. That's great. My friend William knows a lot about his hobby. Oh yes, what's that? He likes to watch racing. He knows all the facts about it. Oh, my brother likes bikes too. No, not those. He likes cars, the really fast ones. Oh, I'm not very interested in that. Are you? No, not really. You like listening to rock music, don't you? I like talking to my friend Helen about it. I learned a lot from her, because she knows so much about different bands. That's great. I'd like to meet some of your friends. They sound really interesting. Yes, they are. Now listen to part three again. Who's your friend that goes to the gym a lot? That's Michael. He goes there every day after work. That's boring, isn't it? Well, he doesn't think it is. What about your friend Sarah? She likes being outside, doesn't she? Yes, she loves going up mountains and then coming down them as fast as she can. Oh, so does she like cycling then? Snowboarding. I believe she's very good at it. She's very brave. I'm not. You have a friend who's called Katie, don't you? That's right. She loves collecting things. Oh, what kind of things? I've seen her buying comics. Is that what she collects? No, stamps. She's got lots now from different countries. That's great. My friend William knows a lot about his hobby. Oh yes, what's that? He likes to watch racing. He knows all the facts about it. Oh, my brother likes bikes too. No, not those. He likes cars, the really fast ones. Oh, I'm not very interested in that. Are you? No, not really. You like listening to rock music, don't you? I like talking to my friend Helen about it. I learned a lot from her, because she knows so much about different bands. That's great. I'd like to meet some of your friends. They sound really interesting. Yes, they are. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What time will Sophia's family leave home tomorrow? I'm excited about our holiday, Dad. Me too, Sophia. We've got to get up early tomorrow. I'm going to get up at quarter to six. Well. We must be ready to go at six o'clock. You need to get up half an hour earlier. At quarter past five. Yes, that's right. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What must Sophia put in her backpack tonight? Have you got everything ready, Sophia? I've put my diary in my backpack. I want to write about what we do each day. Good idea. Have you got a magazine to read on the plane? Yes, Mum bought one for me. Put it in your backpack this evening, so you don't forget it.
We'll take some snacks for the plane too. We can decide what to take in the morning. Great. Two. Where is the hotel? Where's the hotel, Dad? Is it next to the beach? No, it isn't. But we can go there every day. Great. The hotel's on a hill with amazing views. Is it in a village? No, it's in the countryside. It's beautiful. Three. Which new food will Sophia eat? Will there be lots of pizza in Italy? Yes, and they make delicious ice cream there too. But you should try something new. Like what? Well, they make little balls which are made of flour and potato. You eat them with sauce. Okay, I'll try those. Four. What will the weather be like? What will the weather be like? It'll be hot, but there are lots of storms in August. Really? Yes. In some places, ice falls from the sky, and sometimes there's fog from the sea. But we won't see those things where we're going to be. Good. Five. What is Sophia going to do on holiday? There are lots of things to do there. Can we get bicycles and go for rides? Yes. Why not? And we can go to a circus near the hotel. No thanks. There'll be huge animals, and they're frightening. <laughs> no, there won't. But we don't need to do that. Good. It's going to be an amazing holiday. Now listen to part four again. One. What must Sophia put in her backpack tonight? Have you got everything ready, Sophia? I've put my diary in my backpack. I want to write about what we do each day. Good idea. Have you got a magazine to read on the plane? Yes, Mum bought one for me. Put it in your backpack this evening, so you don't forget it. We'll take some snacks for the plane too. We can decide what to take in the morning. Great. Two. Where is the hotel? Where's the hotel, Dad? Is it next to the beach? No, it isn't. But we can go there every day. Great. The hotel's on a hill with amazing views. Is it in a village? No, it's in the countryside. It's beautiful. Three. Which new food will Sophia eat? Will there be lots of pizza in Italy? Yes, and they make delicious ice cream there too. But you should try something new. Like what? Well, they make little balls which are made of flour and potato. You eat them with sauce. Okay, I'll try those. Four. What will the weather be like? What will the weather be like? It'll be hot, but there are lots of storms in August. Really? Yes. In some places, ice falls from the sky, and sometimes there's fog from the sea. But we won't see those things where we're going to be. Good. Five. What is Sophia going to do on holiday? There are lots of things to do there. Can we get bicycles and go for rides? Yes. Why not? And we can go to a circus near the hotel. No thanks. There'll be huge animals, 
And they're frightening. <laughs> no, there won't. But we don't need to do that. Good. It's going to be an amazing holiday. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Can I colour this picture? It's great. Yes, you can. The children are camping. I know. Look at their tents. Can I colour one? Why don't you colour the one at the front of the picture? OK. Shall I colour it red? I love that colour. Yes, good. Can you see the red tent? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. They've got a good fire. That's right. It's nice and safe in those stones. There are two children next to it. Yes, they're singing and playing. Do you want to colour one of the drums? Yes, I'll colour the small one blue. OK. Two. Now can you find the stream? Yes, there's some writing on the board above it. A word is missing. Yes, can you write the missing word? Write summer. Yes, OK, I'll do that now. Well done. You're good at writing. Three. Can I colour a flashlight? OK, why not? Which one do you want to colour? The one on the blanket? No, I'll do the other one. Which colour shall I do it? How about orange? That's a nice colour. OK, I like it too. Four. What do you want to do now? I'd like to write something on that piece of wood in front of the trees. OK. The one that tells people which way to go? Where's it pointing to? The pond. Can you write that word? Yes, I can spell that. OK, I've done that now. Great. Perhaps the children can go there later. Five. Can I colour something else now? Yes. What do you want to colour? How about the big backpack? Shall I do it grey? No, make it purple. OK, I finished. Fantastic! What a great picture. Now listen to part five again. One. They've got a good fire. That's right. It's nice and safe in those stones. There are two children next to it. Yes, they're singing and playing. Do you want to colour one of the drums? Yes, I'll colour the small one blue. OK. Now can you find the stream? Yes, there's some writing on the board above it. A word is missing. Yes, can you write the missing word? Write 
Summer. Yes. Okay. I'll do that now. Well done. You're good at writing. Three. Can I color a flashlight? Okay. Why not? Which one do you want to color? The one on the blanket? No. I'll do the other one. Which color shall I do it? How about orange? That's a nice color. Okay, I like it too. Four. What do you want to do now? I'd like to write something on that piece of wood in front of the trees. Okay. The one that tells people which way to go. Where's it pointing to? The pond. Can you write that word? Yes, I can spell that. Okay, I've done that now. Great. Perhaps the children can go there later. Five. Can I color something else now? Yes. What do you want to color? How about the big backpack? Shall I do it gray? No. Make it purple. Okay. I finished. Fantastic! What a great picture. That is the end of the flyers' listening test.